Happy Monday! Hello everybody, I've missed you guys. It's been um, a couple of days or it feels like a week since I've been on. Um, I was out of town last week and just got back in yesterday and trying to get it all together. <clears throat> um, tonight I have Bane coming back on. A couple of weeks ago we tried to get on. I was at the beach. He was having some light te um, technical difficulties so we wanted to retry again. Bane trains famous people around the world, <clears throat> excuse me, health, um, nutritionists. He also does in his community and he also has an online training that he does. So everybody, thank you for coming in tonight and joining me. I'm gonna wait a few moments and invite Bane on to talk to us about some tips and things that he does and teaches people for healthy um, bodies, which creates healthy minds, which internally you know healthy spirits so okay all right guys thank you so much for joining me i'm gonna bring bane right on thank you for joining me tonight <clears throat> we're waiting for bane to come on can you hear me Testing one, two, three. Instead of adding him, we're gonna wait a few moments. Hey. There he goes. Hey, so much more better lighting than time. How's it going? How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for coming back again. I'm trying to see if I can adjust my camera here too. I'm gonna be up a little higher today. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. I can't complain. So, my motto is, as long as you're living, you're doing good. I always say, I'm all, I always say, I could, um, I'm always grateful for where I am. Of course, you can always be doing better, you know, but I'm always grateful for where I am. You can hear me good? Y'all can hear me Okay, good. Well, I was just telling everybody else I was having you come back on again because last time we were having a little bit of technical difficulties, but I wanted you to share about some of the tips and stuff that you do for, um, Hold on, no, let me do a little adjusting here too. Some tips and stuff that you have for um for health, for healthy living. You know, I see that you train. I put on the flyer a picture with you and one of the Marley brothers and like Sprague events and stuff. I know you do famous people training them to live healthy, but I also know you do people in the community, people in our family, people in your community and around the world online. No, I do, I do. Thank you. Um I've been training for going over eight years now, and now I can definitely consider myself a master trainer where I have over 200 sessions of virtual training. Sorry, hold on. That's okay. There we go. I got um corporate classes. I got two corporate classes that I I've done. I've been with them for over four years. Um, down from corporate classes, virtual training, you name it. Uh, I'm pretty much I'm with it. Uh, I trained Kamani on tour uh, with three years in a row. We went to Europe, and he blessed me to jump on tour with them and travel Europe and train there. Yeah, that was definitely dope. Um, besides that. I pretty much, like I tell people, it's consistency. Every Everything in life to me, the key is consistency. The more you actually put the time in, you will master that. Whatever your craft yeah. is or whatever you're trying to master, it's the time that you put in. I see the back wall, there's Bruce Lee. And yeah, I see. Everybody know what Bruce Lee said. You got to be like water. You got to learn to adapt to things. Black water. You yeah. got to learn how to flow to things. And... You know, to me, fitness is pretty much just that. You, you're you going to get older, and as you get older, you adjust. You adjust yeah. to the lifestyle that you're living. You adjust to even the foods, because what you used to eat when you were young, the Bible even tells you that. What I, li what I like as a child, as a grown man, I don't even see that anymore. Yeah. So even the foods yeah. change as you going through changes your body is going to go through changes regardless it is all organic uh being we organic beings and we, we will fade away one day so 
It is going to go through changes. It's just on you to be that mechanic, that doctor, um, that trainer. You have to be your own personal trainer. You need to be your own doctor. Before you go find a doctor, you should be the first doctor. You know? And so let me, let me, I want to interrupt you really quick and stuff. Like, so a lot of people, uh, I don't know if anybody from the last time when we Bane was on, thought that Bane is my cousin um, by marriage, but my cousin. And um, we did some training classes with you too, Bane, with the family and stuff like that. And I know, I think Ricotta says she's doing it with you right now. She's she, right she been getting it in. I thought we were getting it in. She is like, I looked at her stomach, I'm like, what the no, heck? She's she she I'm like, what she are you, Tony? <laughs> she and that's what I tell people, even at home, you can get work. You can work at home, you know, you can do the same. Yeah. The same thing you would do at the gym is what you do at home. You know, you can yeah. change. So I wanted to ask you, though, how did you get into this? What made you this become a passion for you? What led you to this part of my point? background? I had an uncle who had me lift weights from a very young age to actually fight. Cause the area that, you know, I grew up in was very rough. So instead of, you know, we running back to them constantly, they just made us strong. They made us super strong. So I was able to handle one, two, three kids at a time. And, you know, handle myself, handle whoever I needed to for my brother or my sister. So that transferred into playing sports. So that same aggression and that mentality, now you find, you know, you start playing sports and you start learning a little discipline with it. And that's why Ooh, I, yeah. I learned sometimes is energy just need to be channeled. And once you learn how to channel that energy, like they said, it's like making uh, my mentors tell me, uh, it's kind of like getting butterflies. You just got to teach them how to fly in formation. Even being yeah. angry. When you angry, you just need to learn how to work in a formation that it becomes something of a benefit for you versus something a downfall. So even yeah. with the training, you know, I tell people again, it's it's the consistency. It's no secrets. It's, it's no extra anything but the time that you put in. You could be doing one thing every day, and that one thing is gonna get you to that goal. So what is what is like an easy tip for someone who's saying like my day is so busy I don't have time to work out? What is something that you would tell someone to start with? The number one thing I would always say is on top of the list is food. Because we're organic being and we're consuming what we consume is what's causing us to either what was it? I missed it's food. It's to master okay. our food. Because okay. Okay. what we consume is either helping us gain weight, balance weight, or, you know, it makes us fluctuate. So by yeah, yeah. mastering the food, once you up your activity levels, you're either losing weight fast and building muscle, or, you know, because of your food level, if it's not matching your activity level, you won't lose the weight. You could be working out and not losing weight. It's a lot of people that okay. get to it and, and they actually, they're going in. They feel healthier, but damn. I'm not losing the weight. And it's the intake versus outtake. The outtake is the calorie that you burn on a daily. So you say your daily activities plus if you work out. So that will equal your outtake. Your intake is that food. So if you're yeah, intaking yeah. such a great number versus this, it's not going to balance out. It has to yeah, balance yeah. out. So once once you understand that equation, it's mathematics. You're going to do what you do. I feel like it comes natural. Yeah, it starts coming natural. That's why most people I know, on the I, island is like that. They don't, they don't weigh their food. They don't go to the gym. But why do they keep a certain stature? They keep a certain weight. It's because yeah. they walk more. The activity levels is higher. Far as they walk more, they do more activity levels of, of active just lifestyle. It's a little more yeah. than us. And the food is clean. The food is super yeah. clean and is, you know, they're not eating. Well, that, that's a perfect segue into me. Like, for eating healthy, it helps you think better. And I've, yeah. I've, it, it, it's proven not only scientifically now, but I experimented with, with it myself. Um, like, you know, if you eat, eat a fast food, for example, and, and after you eat it, you feel sluggish. You don't feel too much. Where virtually eat a clean meal and literally 
you really have enough energy to what you're doing. You don't feel as sluggish. And so I feel like eating healthy and the portions also, which came natural to me too. Like you said, once you started practicing, it became more natural. Yeah, it's a habit. The more you do yeah. something, it becomes our habit. Yes. And just like you said, food actually makes you feel a certain way. It yes. can yes. Uh, offset your mood. It can make you feel in different ways when you eat certain foods. And if you don't believe in that, look in the difference between carnivores, how con watch carnivores, and then watch the animals that eat uh, only grass. Watch the difference. Yeah. The aggression is different. It's just uh, the the whole mindset is different. So that's why I tell people, I'm not, I don't tell you to stop eating meat. I tell you, do not be a carnivore seven days a week. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I find it really important, I think we touched upon it a little bit the last time we were talking was, you know, your mentality too into preparing your food. So I, I have a lot of family, and you know, my mom is a vegan or vegetarian or something. And, um, and I have a lot of, all, all my family, you three, I've got a lot more of our family that are vegetarian, too, so I respect that. But then you have people who's like, I'm not giving up my meat, and I respect that, too. I love both. I love I love more vegetables than meat, but I do like my meat also, right? So one of the things I realized was to bless my food. You know, I heard it. Too. It's so important to the mind take of what you're eating because I find that when I become very like, okay, because of my weight and I'm watching this, it's harder for it to go for me. Where if I burst, then I'm like, oh my God, I serve my food and I have more vegetables. Than that. I'm like, I'm eating all this food and I'm releasing weight and I feel good while I'm eating yep. food. It makes such a difference of how it goes through my body. No, it does. It does. Because you know? especially when you're making healthy choices. You feel better in every way because your mind is, we forget, uh, the universe is mental. Everything you think is a thought first and then it manifests. So even though, you know, it's the food, you already manifested in your mind because you're picking a healthier lifestyle. You start picking certain foods. Why? Because you're looking to be electrified. So yeah. that's why you say, you know, I like to change your vibration, your, your energy, your pain, your mental, everything. And it can start with, I really, like I was telling another person I had on the line too, everybody has their place of passion. So some people is doing mental, some people is doing physical, some people is spiritual, whatever form, whatever avenue is it first will lead to all of that. So when you start clearing up your body, it's automatically going to want to do your mind and your spirit. If you start working on your spirit, it's automatically going to take you to a, through a cleansing of your mind yep. and your body. So they all yep. lead together for me. It does. It does. That's why I say if you pay attention to monks, people will talk about war and aggression. Monks <laughs> practice war all day just yeah. to protect yeah. their peace. And they, and it's the way they do it. That's why I say it's all on what you do and how you do it, you know, because they they channel that energy to protect their peace, not to create, you know, war for someone or, or break somebody else's peace. Where a lot of us, we tend to step in somebody else's zone and try to take over that area, which, you know, yeah. has been going on in the world for years. Well, in many different yeah. <laughs> you know, training, you know I, I tell people food is the number one thing that you want to master because again the your your skin is nothing but what food the building blocks to our tissue muscle everything is food so by yeah. having quality food you're building quality a quality building every time which is if this is the uh Vessel or the car or whatever you want to yeah. Yeah. carry yeah. the soul around, you want to be in the best equipped. You want to be in a um, Bugatti or whatever they call the fast car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want you want to suit your body up to the, and it's pretty much you can do it. You, you know, yeah. you was created like everybody else. It's, it's no secret. It's mastering self. By you mastering self, you mastering your body and your mind. The whole time you you taking that process, that's what I tell people. The number one thing you should master before touching weights is your body weight. Because when you're comfortable at moving at your body weight, now 
you're going to do electrified stuff. You're going to actually move perfect. And, you know, wants to pick up weight and do other stuff. Now you're not worrying about the extra weight you just pick up and your body weight. Yeah. Uh-oh. Something happened there. We lost them. Uh-oh. All right. Well, we'll try again and bring Bane back on. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. He's coming right back on. I don't know what happened. He just cut off. Give us a few moments. We're going to bring Bane back on. Thank you guys for sticking around. Who has been watching and those who jumped on and been watching. I am talking to Bane Blackraw. Um, Bane is my cousin by marriage and he is a trainer. And I realized how important it was like physically taking care of your body mentally. Like I, I started walking, I think it was like seven or eight months ago consistently. Um, and what a difference that made for me thinking clearly. It became a meditation for me. So it helps me process my day in such a better way. And I realized when I don't, which I had an injury and haven't been able to for two months, how different my thinking has become because I wasn't able to physically let out, you know, the, I guess the energy will help change the vibration. Bane trains online and I really um, wanted, let's see, hold on. All right. Um, trains online and I wanted to bring him on because sometimes we don't, you know, especially here we go. I was just telling everybody, just kind of catching up to you, come on with that. Yeah, you train online for people who are right now with the corona that's going on and stuff like that. If you wanted to do something to keep your body in shape or in fit, um, he has like these amazing online and it doesn't matter your size or your pace that you're able to go with. Right. Bane works with you like compassionately. It works with you. I've seen him. He's done it with me. I've seen him with groups of people on, um, on his page. Bane, if people wanted to reach out to you, can you tell us how would we reach out to you? Uh, and Bane you Black help? Raw on Facebook and IG, just regular Black Raw. And um, you can pretty much DM me and I'll send you the link for the classes and stuff. I have classes Tuesdays, Thursdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So, okay, yeah, so y'all have it doesn't the matter where you're at. That's um, why I like the virtual. You know, I got people in uh, Virginia, you name yeah. Philly, shoot, Germany. Sure. I was asking people around the world. Well, I've been, I've been blessed to actually website, say that it's been here? working the way I want. I wanted to, because I wanted to be able to train people that's not in my area, and actually, yeah. uh, successfully do it. Because you know, some people, you know, you think like, man, the person's not there, but and they, nah, you can get the same training. What I make you do is I make you buy whatever equipment. I give you a list of equipment to buy, and with that. Equipment, we go full in like we would in the gym. He's not kidding. <laughs> but um, I was oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I was talking over you. I was saying, is it a website link that they can find to see your the website? Will be offer? up May uh May fifteenth. I'm putting up the website back up because okay. I pretty I put it down and I'm leave. trying to do some extra stuff to it. So putting that back up. Yeah. But if you want to jump in classes that. now, you can jump on any of my social media sites. And um, DM me or send me a message. Also, my uh, email is fit, the number two, T H E M A X X, fit to the max at Gmail. So, either or, you can write me. Do me a favor and put it in here, please, because a lot of people will hear you and they won't read no, you. Right. One, but if they I see your link on there, there. Yeah, they can, they can be able, they'll be able to reach out to you. But I tell it, man, health is wealth to me. Because without that, the things that you love, you would health not be able to do. I love that. Yeah, health is wealth. And that is a, a great place for me, I think, for people to start with. Is if you don't know where to start and you're on a journey on changing your Food life. Food is the number one your source of life. You yeah. got to remember, we. this is what actually, food is what rejuvenates the body. Food is what... This is how we get fuel. This is everything. So the quality, yeah. even down to the quality of the soil that's producing the food is super important. Yeah. Because if the quality yeah. of the soil doesn't have the minerals and vitamins that it needs, how can the food have it? So that's yes. why you cannot just buy anything you want. No, you, if you, it's kind of like your car. 
You will buy a yeah. nice, fancy car, and you don't even want to put 87 in that. You'll tell that man, yeah. you got a wrong number. You can't put 87. <laughs> we're going 93. We got, we're going 93. Well, we do the mid-grade, but definitely going 93. But you got to think of your body the same. Why would you do anything less? Yeah. For high yeah. outcome. Right. Why would you do anything less that was, you want that fuel that's going to turn you on, yeah. that make you that, that machine that the body was created to be? Anything less is breaking down the body. Anything less is creating issues. And again, that's our issue. Everything, I'm not going to say everything, but a lot of stuff we deal with is what we, uh, it's the intake. Even down to the pollution of the environment, all that is intake. So everything we're taking in is, that's the issue. So we have to yeah. figure out ways of creating an environment of the alkaline food and clean oxygen, water, what the body actually needs. It's nothing more, nothing Thank less. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just, I'm glad that you was able to join me again today. I wanted people to know, like, again, if they want to make a start, you know, a change in their life, sometimes, you, you know, people get stuck and they don't know what to do, how to do it. Um, Bain has a lot of great tips, information. If you want to reach out to him, you can reach out. He left the link right there to his um his uh, email and also his Instagram. You can DM him, personal message him, whatever, um, and ask him about his classes. He'll be able to let you know how you can do that online. And you also help people with guiding with food and nutrition, right? Yep. Um, with the food, I like I again I tell people I do not believe in a diet, and I'm gonna explain why. If you look for the word diet, what is a diet? Whatever you eat is your diet. If you live on pizza, that's his diet. So that, and when you get on these crazy diets, every diet works. You know why? It's a math, it's a math number. If it's 3,500 calories to lose one pound and yeah. every diet works, why? Because as soon as you jump on a diet, it makes you subtract intake. Why wouldn't it not work? You could have done that yourself. It make you're subtracting calories. So a diet is already based on a certain amount of calories. So you're on their diet now. Whatever the diet is uh, for this calorie, that's what you're intaking. Versus if you were taking 3,000 and now the, whatever they got you on is 2,000. Don't you think you, math-wise, math don't you think you would be losing? Because yeah. of the decline. So whenever you, I want to add something. I want to add something to that too, because you're saying it to me, and it, it it it's a natural. It is a natural um, the a natural math of taking care of your body and and with weight and just alkaline in your body. But I want to add something that I've recently learned, and I've been experimenting with it, right, in order for me to be able to release my thing. Your mental state is so important before you do any diet. You said, why does the diet work? I've heard a teacher said this and for four or five years ago, and I've been practicing this and noticed this in my own experience, in my own journey, is when you mentally set your mind, I want to get my body or my mind or my spirit in order, what, however that is for you. When you mentally set your mind, I'm going to do this diet. It could be Weight Watchers. It could be Atkins. It could be South Beach. It could be whatever diet. You set your mind, I'm going to do whatever this says. You do it. It says we're going to tell you less intake or more. You action, do it. Right? So wait, and you do it. When you do this diet, whatever form it is, you're going to start doing it, and you're going to do five, four days. You're doing exactly what it says, exactly how they say it. You're going to look in the mirror, and you're going to say, oh, I look kind of good. It might be working. And so you're going to continue doing it. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be push yourself and you're going to do it. You're going to look at yourself again in a few weeks and you're going to be like, oh shit, this is actually working. And you're going to do it. Whatever you choose to do, if you mentally set your mind there first, it's going to it's work. Gonna work. Yeah. And you're loving yourself and your body yeah, starts gonna work. shifting. It starts by loving yourself and your body will start shifting. Bless your food. Bless your life and work out and eat how according to your spirit teacher but when you don't know how to do that you have people that are there to help guide you so i'm going to encourage you guys to reach out to bane if you're stuck if you need some help he left all his information there bane thank you so you're much welcome, for coming on welcome, if there's well. anything else you want to add i love you i love all of you guys i just want to say help as well kitchen. take care of yourself yes. that. if you can't do it for yourself you can't help nobody else even if you love them to death, you do not have the strength to get up for yourself. 
You cannot yes. help them. And that's how you got to take life. And those that you do love, you don't lay down on them. So don't lay down on I yourself. So, you know, for me, we all, create, we all create the same. So it's nothing yes. that I can do that I don't think nobody else can do. You just have to put the consistency and and do it. That's it. Make up your mind. Make up your Make mind. Up your mind. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on All Things Possible. Tomorrow I got more people. Wednesday I got more people. And just keep it moving. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, cuz. Love you. All right. Bye, guys.